What's up guys, welcome back to another InScape video. In this video, we'll be looking at the starting point and where that starting point is and how you can create your own starting point in your entire model when it comes to InScape. So if at any point during this video you learn something, please demolish that like button, it really does help me. So let's get right into it. We're trying to determine a start point. So typically what's gonna happen is you're gonna start InScape using just a typical 3D view and if you remember, InScape is view-based, so everything you see in your scene is based on the model and the visibility graphics of that view. The way I set things up generally is that I've got just a basic, I'm in just the, the out-of-the-box tool, out-of-the-box template within Revit 2020. So typically what I do is uh, I just use the basic 3D view, you know, your default 3D view. But what a, a lot of times what I want to do is create a specific starting point. So what happens whenever you're using this default 3D view is that it's going to dump you, you know, somewhere way out here. You know, just you're going to see everything and you're going to be thrown out in the middle of space. So maybe what we want to do is actually have it to where we start right here and as if we're going to make an animation, something like that. But even still, just starting the InScape scene at this point is probably the most desirable. So how would we do that? Well, it is actually pretty simple. So what I would tell you to do is go to the current view, go to the current place within the view that you want to go and start. So at this point, I do want to start here every time I open InScape, and that's going to be based on a view. So now that I'm in the place that I want, I can simply go back to Revit and create 3D view. And I'm going to call this Inscape start. I'm even gonna give it that. Inscape start. There we go. Okay. So once I do that, you can see in my 3D views, Inscape start is there. And now I actually have the option of choosing Inscape start as my view that I want to use. So let's select Inscape start. And once I do that, the view will then change from being associated from this default 3D view to Inscape start and in this case everything that is associated and on and everything with that Inscape start view will now show up within my Inscape window Perfect, so okay, this this looks like it did before and that's simply because I took And basically a new default view. I had it named 3d or I had it named Inscape start but I used the create view option from Inscape and what that does is actually creates a camera view like you would normally in Revit, but it actually places that view and places that camera wherever you are in your InScape scene at that time. And that's really helpful because we can now use that view to run InScape and you will be placed at that location. So I'm gonna close InScape. I'll just fly out to somewhere random and now I'm gonna close InScape and I'm gonna make sure to select my InScape start once I do that, you can see it's populated up there. And in theory, if this works out correctly, I should be able to hit start. And as soon as I do, the window that pops up for InScape will have me located exactly where I want to right there at the start of that sidewalk. So let's go ahead and hit start, get InScape, InScape going, and we'll see where we end up. And look at that. This is exactly where we want. If you remember, I went to this location in my past view. I simply went to create 3D view in InScape on the Inscape tab, when I had this open, everything was done for me there. That new view was created with this perspective taken. And honestly, I can even go ahead and go into this Inscape start and we can see exactly why. So we've basically got a camera, like I said before, located at this very specific location. And all Inscape does is it puts you in this location to start whenever you start Inscape. I, I use this all the time. I always make an Inkscape start because I, I typically want to start from the same place. Maybe it's a lobby view, a front door, whatever it might be. But it's also great for presentations because I know I'm going to start at this location and then I can start to use all of my different favorited views. You can start favoriting these views so that they show up in Inkscape and you can navigate to those new views. I've covered that in past videos, so go check those out. But that's going to do it for determining a start location in Inkscape. 
If you did learn something, please demolish that like button. It really does help. Also, change the phase of that subscribe button to existing. That always also does help. There's lots of new videos coming out. More Enscape, more Revit. So please stick around for those. I sure hope to see you in the next video. Have a good day and thanks for watching.